Hey everybody, Paul Richards here with PTZ Optics and in this video I'm going to show you how the brand new firmware for our PTZ Optics Superjoy now supports Panasonic PTZ cameras. Now this will require a firmware update for our current customers. We are always improving our products, adding new features. I'm going to show you some of them today, but we'll start with the Superjoy. Now if you're new to the Superjoy, one of the things you'll notice is that this is a power over Ethernet device. So we have an Ethernet cable connecting this, powering the device, and connecting it to our local area network. The device will uh, receive an IP address from your network. And I'm going to show you what happens when we type this IP address into the web browser, which brings up the web interface for this camera. And that's how I'm going to show you all the new Panasonic uh, support that we have in our web interface on my screen share. So once I type the IP address into this camera, into uh, this interface here, we will be able to control a Panasonic camera. Now, I have this Panasonic AWHN40 here, uh, and I'm looking at it uh, right here, and I have obviously web connectivity to it. Uh, when you're in your Panasonic camera, you can check out the network settings for these cameras, and you'll notice that the port that is being used for transmitting HTTP commands uh, is port 80. So that was one thing I was just checking. We also know that the IP address for this Panasonic camera is 192.168.21.79. So as long as you know the IP address of your Panasonic camera and the port number that you're using, we can enter that information into the Superjoy and control pretty much any uh, Panasonic camera. So if I hit the modify button here, one of the things you'll notice is I've set this Superjoy camera one up for a network connection. Uh, the Superjoy also supports analog connections, but we're gonna set up a network connection. And the protocol we're gonna use is the Panasonic AW HTTP protocol that we now support. I've typed in the IP address of the camera and the port number, and all I gotta do is click Save. So once that's done, by clicking Camera 1 here, I can now control the Panasonic camera. So. I've, as you saw kind of at the beginning of the video, I've got full pan, tilt, zoom controls of this camera simply by clicking camera one. So if you have a mix of Panasonic cameras and maybe you have some Panasonic cameras, maybe you have some NDI cameras, maybe you have some PTZ Optics cameras, uh, you can control them all with the Superjoy using this simple uh, PTZ controller here. It's really, really nice. All right, so it's pretty exciting. We're now supporting Panasonic camera control in the PTZ Optics Superjoy. There's a couple other really nice features with the Superjoy in the latest firmware, one of them being support for the NDI bridge, one of them being additional usage of this uh, button here on the joystick where you can toggle custom commands for turning auto tracking on and off and other custom commands uh, for vMix and other supported uh, softwares in our, in, our, in our joystick. So take a look at that in our upcoming videos. We're going to be showing off the NDI bridge to control these cameras remotely and a lot more. So don't forget to hit the like button. Let us know if you're using Panasonic cameras or your customers are in the comments below and stick around for our next video.